Scattered across these magnificent mountains are some 600 cave galleries with about 35,000 images painted by sand hunter-gatherers who took refuge in these mountain shelters. They represent one of the richest rock art collections in the world. Their paintings tell of a people who developed a rich mythology of nature and her creatures, who came to be known as mystical, magical, marvelous magicians by other communities. They were held to have healing abilities, power of the elements, and to communicate with mythical beings. They were the initiation masters, teaching youths the secrets of nature. Sadly today, many Zulu and Kosa Sangomas maintain that by using scraped paint from the rock art, they are harnessing the Bushman powers. Remnants of these first people of South Africa can still be found on the floor of some of the caves in the Drakensberg Mountains. There were quite a few pieces of pottery shards lying about. This crude piece shows they had contact with other black African groups. And there's a bit of glass here. It's no ordinary piece of glass. It's been cut into a sort of cutting implement. It's still very sharp. And this indicates their communication or contact with the colonialist people. And this crystal here is the type of thing the shaman would bring up here into the cave. It's fascinating. These gentle people were forced out of their mountain retreat towards the end of the 19th century after a hundred year war with the colonial government and black and white farmers. Fort Durnford here was initially set up as an encampment by the British to combat the Bushman cattle raiders and in the 1870s, this fort was built. It is said that when they captured the Bushmen, they would bring them here and stick them down there in dungeons, dark, dark dungeons. Now you can just imagine the sheer terror and claustrophobia they must have suffered. Now there is testimony to that desperation. There are actually still claw marks evident on the walls, which shows us these people were absolutely frantically clawing against the walls to get out. By the early 1900s, the southern sand bushmen of the Drakensberg were thought to have been utterly wiped out. One of the most important displays in the Natal Museum is this. It's a sand hunting kit, a complete kit that almost breaks the myth that the sand bushmen were extinct in the early 1900s. This kit is almost in perfect condition. It was found by a farmer in the Cathedral Peak area on the ledge of a cave whilst he was looking for his sheep in 1936. And look at its condition. It's almost perfect. Even the tips of some of the arrows have metal on them, which must have been metal taken from fences from the areas round about. The other fascinating thing is the similarity to the technology used in making these arrows is almost identical to those found in the Kalahari region. Now, either there was contact or these people developed simultaneously. <laughs> 